Hello again boys and girls. In today's lesson we're going to be looking at how to use apostrophes, which is a type of punctuation which you should have learned about already, but it's quite complicated so we'll need to go over in a bit more detail. So our objective is to understand how to use apostrophes. To be successful today we're going to see if we can remember what the symbol is to use for apostrophes. We're going to see if we can explain why we use apostrophes. We're going to see if we can use apostrophes for contractions, which is a type of word, and to show possession. And we're going to see if we can spot where apostrophes have been used correctly or incorrectly and see if we can correct those mistakes. So, what is an apostrophe? Well, it looks a little bit like a comma. Commas sit below the line, they float on the line nicely, but apostrophes float up in the air. They look exactly the same, just like that, except instead of sitting on the ground with the rest of the letters, they float up in the air with all the ascenders. Apostrophes are used for two different reasons. Do you know what these two reasons are? Well, one of the reasons is because of possession. Possession means it belongs to you, it's something that's yours. So it shows that something belongs. For example, if the book belongs to Matilda, you would say Matilda's book. And after the A for Matilda, you put an apostrophe S to show that it belongs to her. It shows possession. There are two sentences down the bottom here. My brothers, my brothers. They're both the same apart from that apostrophe. Now the first one, my brothers, means you've got more than one brother. It's a plural. Brothers is more than one. My brothers means that something belongs to my brother. For example, uh, my brother's pencil case. It would be apostrophe S for brothers because it belongs to my brother. Okay, that's the difference between them. So putting that apostrophe there changes the meaning of the sentence completely. It changes it from my brothers, meaning more than one, to my brothers means it belongs to my brother. Okay, so you have to make sure you understand for possession, the apostrophe shows that it belongs to somebody. The second reason is for what's called omission. Omission means missing something out. So apostrophes can be, show, can be used to show that some letters have been missed out of a word. For example, with the words can and not, I can put them together, I can get rid of some, some letters and I can change it to can't. You can see the apostrophe has gone there to show that the N and the O in can't have been omitted, they've been left out. Will and not, I can push together to make the word won't, okay? Now in this case, actually, it's a bit strange because the I changes to an O as well. It's a very bizarre one. It's one you have to kind of remember. But the apostrophe shows that the N and the O in not are missing, okay? There's a letter missing, so it shows there's that omission there, okay? Here are some examples. I couldn't believe that my brother doesn't like reading. Couldn't would be the words could and not pushed together, which again shows the apostrophe is missing the letter O. And doesn't is does and not pushed together. Again, the apostrophe shows that the letter O is missing in not. Okay? There are other types of contractions as well. Contractions are those words with apostrophes in, um, which don't involve the word not. We'll have a look at some later on in our lesson today. So your tasks, I'd like you to go to DU Primary, I'd like you to download the activity, and on the activity there are three things for you to do. The first thing, I'd like to change the underlined words that are there so that they uh, use apostrophes correctly. So they might have used them incorrectly, they might put them in the wrong place, you need to fix those mistakes. For job number two, you need to add the apostrophe into the correct place. So I've written some sentences, but I haven't put any apostrophes in at all. You need to work out where the apostrophes go, where there's either letters missing or where something belongs to somebody, but don't put them in the wrong place. Just because you see an S at the end of the word doesn't mean that the apostrophe is going to be there, remember. And finally, for task number three, I'd like you to see if you can write two sentences containing contractions, which are omitted letters, like can't, will, I'd. And I'd like you to write two sentences containing apostrophes for possession. For example, Mr. F's or Jake's belongs to somebody. Okay? When do you finish that, come back to DB Primary. Oh, sorry, not come back to DB Primary. Come back here and we'll have a look at the open together. So our objective today was uh, using apostrophes. To be successful, or hopefully you were successful, but if your next step is to understand what the symbol is, then maybe you need to redo this lesson, because that's basically what this whole lesson's been about. Do you need to explain reasons why we use apostrophes? So if I said to you, give me two reasons why I would use an apostrophe, are you able to explain those two reasons? If not, make sure you are able to do that in the future. Can you use apostrophes correctly for contractions? Those words like can't or don't, the words which are contracted, they're joined together and they've put an apostrophe there to show that there's that missing letter. And are you able to use apostrophes correctly to show possession? I'll be honest with you, lots of adults struggle with that. I see apostrophes in the wrong places all the time on letters and things like that. 
So if you're able to do that, that's absolutely fantastic. If you're not, please continue to work on it because it is a very important skill because it can change the meaning of the sentence.